Well, it came. It's the next day. I can't believe it. They sent out a shipping because it was so early in the morning. And the guy had called and said that uh, they were working on a couple. So they're just going to send it out right away. I was shocked. So it's here. Now I have to undo that one. And then we'll put this one in. We have to line everything up to make sure the laser beams align. And then ready to go. Ready to rock. So pump pumped. So it's pretty simple. You only got this plug and this plug right here. This is your laser, um, laser light, your red dot. So yeah, it's really nothing to it. There's a little clip up here. There we go. You also have to unplug this cord. And once you have this out, this unplugged, now it just slides out of there. All right, new laser is in, and the old laser is out. It's pretty clean even. I do have to say, but this has got to get returned so I can get my money back because, you know, I don't want them to keep all of it. So I got to package this up and we'll drive it to UPS. I'll probably end up driving it to UPS at lunchtime after this because it is now 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna install this, get this going, do the beam alignment, and then I'll return that. Oh, we got a problem. The cord came all smashed. Ah. Oh. Now I gotta call it Epilog. This is not going to be fun. So I'm on hold and it'll be a while. Um, I know I can switch the cords with my old one, but I have to make sure with them because I don't want them to think that I smashed that on the way out so they all know what's going on. So a little bit of a setback, a little bit. Yep. Hi. Hi James, this is Matt. How are you doing today? I have my laser tube that came today for my Epilog Fusion M2. Um, unfortunately, the clip, the black clip on the end of it that plugs into the laser is broke on the new one. So I'm wondering if I can take my old clip off of the other tube and then switch the wire harness around. I just want to make sure before I do it because I don't want to do it and then all of a sudden you guys charge me or something. So I just want to make sure there's a ticket or something that shows that that's broke. Okay. Uh, okay, cool, thank you. Risk. You too, thanks, bye. Out with the new, in with the old. <laughs> Alright, so the laser tube's all hooked up. We're going to turn it on. And then what we're going to do is let it cycle through, go to this home position. And then we are going to take a look at the red light, see where it is to make sure it's going to be somewhere close. And then what I'm going to do is do a test burn. And then we'll see if that red dot's lined up with test burn. And then we'll do the adjustments and I'll walk you through that. All right, so I just turned it on, got the red dot going. I'm going to take a piece of tape. We're gonna do a test burn. So what I'm gonna do is bring that out so I can see it good. Go out in the middle of the bed. So 
See that? All right. All right, so it looks centered even. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and it's in jog. So then you just hit your button. There we go. We got the burn mark. Now to make it easier, I'm gonna shut the lights off. And see how the red dot's off just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, and this you have to adjust right here, these three screws, to get the laser dot so it's right where you need it to be. So I'm gonna do that quick. All right, so that's center as can be. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, hit reset, and let it go back. And then we're gonna look down here, and it looks center. Okay, so now we're gonna go jog, we're gonna go straight down. And then don't go all the way, stay up a little bit so you can make an adjustment. And see how we're off. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it to where you can. Oh, right there. It's off just a hair. So we need to adjust that mirror right there. And we're going to do a little bit. Come back here, and we're gonna watch. It's hard to do this up with camera. So once you get that one centered, now we're gonna run it back. So we're gonna go over here, hit reset. We're gonna check it again to make sure it's on, and it's still on. So now, we wanna jog it. Go down. I like to go down in this corner and go all the way over. It's the farthest point. And go up a little bit just so I can adjust it. So now we're going to adjust this mirror. So now we come in here and we're going to see way down there. We're going to watch. But I got to adjust this mirror here. So, let's see. There we go, it's center. So now, double check. We're gonna hit it back over here. Now basically, what I'm gonna do now is I hit reset, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna go down to here, to this corner, and make sure the laser isn't moving at all. Now I'm gonna put it all back together. I'm gonna run some product and I'm gonna see if it works. And I'll let you know. It takes about an hour from what I'm gonna run to make sure I get the good test. So I'll let you know. See you in about an hour. Well, a little more than an hour. I gotta put all this stuff back on, so. It did it. It did good. <laughs> it cut it all out. <laughs> I'm happy. No flaws whatsoever. I'd show you what I'd cut, but that customer of mine doesn't want you guys to know. It's what they sell a bunch of, so I cut it all for them. Anyways, it did great. It cut the whole sheet just fine. 
No flaws whatsoever. I am super pumped. I'm actually thinking about, remember all that other wood I had down there? Oops, 3D printer. I've been using this a ton too. I got a bunch of stuff. I made a couple of fish feeders for my uh, big tank, 125 gallon reef tank. But anyways, enough of that. I have that old wood down there. I'm actually just thought of that. I'm gonna put some in there and see if that cuts and see if there's a soot on there or not. Cause maybe, just maybe, it will. You know, won't have the soot. I don't know. I don't know when the tube was going out, but yeah, I'm pumped. I'm really pumped. Back at it. Here we go. Glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>